Good morning, everyone. So we're creating a report that combines data from multiple classes. Well, first, we're creating a report that joins classes referencing in the social gene rule. And then we'll create a report that uses a class join in the report definition. All right, so to begin, let's go to our candidate class, go to reports, right click on reports definition, click on create. And we're going to call this one candidates by work basket. Create and open. Okay, for this report, we want to get the open cases. So to do that, we're going to use PYID. Let's get the case ID. We also want to get the status. So to do that, we're going to use PY status work to get the work status. And then now we want to get the properties inside the assigned work basket. So to do that, we need to create an association rule. And to do that, we simply just write PX work basket. Yeah, and you put a dot to now access the properties inside that class. So we're going to use PX assigned operator. There it is. That gives us that. That gives us a operator working on the case. Then we're going to use PX work basket again. Dot PX urgency. That gives us the urgency. Sorry. Give us the urgency of the assignment. And last but not least, we want to get the current task for each case. So PX, work basket, assignment. To be honest, I'll just copy and paste so I don't get any spelling mistakes. Then dot PX task label to get a task. So click save. Once it's saved, now you can actually run the approval. So just click on actions, run. So this is now displaying case ID, work status, work basket, urgency of assignment, and task label. Problem is we don't have any instances, so we can create some. Okay, so we're quickly running a kind of case to get instances for the report so we can test the report. So let's quickly run through this. And let's refresh that. Let's try run it again. So there we go. We got one instance showing us that, and obviously if we run it the case again, we'll have another instance. So as we wanted, we get the work status, the work task ID, the urgency of the assignment, and the task of the assignment. So that's how you create reports using association rule. The next report we'll be creating will be using a class join and that will be in the next video.